I'm just going to do a comparison between uh, the Hit Air Vest and the, the Point 2 Pro Air Vest. Um, there's an old video that's been circulated uh, around just lately, it's about three years old this video, um, that was taken in England. Two young girls that were, uh, one was wearing a blue Hit Air and one was wearing a, a Pro Air Vest. It was really unfair the way that they did the test. Um, ours has got a bleed valve and uh, when they stood side by side, what do you think of the protection? Well, ours didn't have any air in the, in the vest. It all leaked out. Um, the, the hit air is not fitted with a bleed valve. Uh, part of the Satra um, standard uh, M38, you have to have a bleed valve. Um, if you've not heard of Satra, 85% of the beta level body protectors is likely to be tested by Satra. They're one of the most respected test houses in the world. Um, one of the tests that they do is they impacted our trigger 12 times uninflated to make sure the trigger was not going to harm anybody. So there's a level uh, one phone behind there and the airbag is built behind it. The biggest problem, if you go back to the, the comparison video they did and look at the girl and look at the, uh, the trigger mechanism, this whole trigger here, this plate here, is resting on your rib cage. There is no airbag or foam padding behind here. The, the trigger, the airbag, sorry, goes over the top of the canister halfway down. In fact, there's been a big case in the UK just lately where a, it was a, um, uh, a trauma surgeon. Uh, she was an event rider. She had a, a fall and the, the trigger went into her rib cage. There's been a big case on this. I think this is very dangerous and I'm going to show you when I inflate this why, why that is. And then I'm going to talk about the neck protection and show you why ours is totally different. Okay, let's set this off. Now that may have looked to you, your eye, that inflated fast, but um, it's about four times slower than ours. Now, here's the problem. See the rib cage? That is the trigger mechanism. This airbag is wanting to push this trigger, the top end of the canister, into your rib cage. So I'm sure you've seen a lot of our rotational falls online. Imagine the rider having a fall, and then the horse coming down on top of you. It is going to push that canister into your rib cage. This, is, uh, this, to me, is really dangerous. Um, Hit Air have now made another one with an airbag behind it. Ring them up, insist that you want to swap your um, airbag for the one that's safer with the airbag behind the trigger. This is, this is in my opinion, it's crazy. Um, what we're actually doing to try and get these off the market, if you have one of these jackets, send it in to us, we'll give you 50% off one of our vests. Here's the other thing. A lot of people talk about the Hit Air airbag. Can you see a big gap here? When we uh, d designed the Pro Air Vest, we had a, uh, a spinal surgeon that was working with us on a retainer for the first three years that did a lot of studies into um, riding injuries. Uh, where do we need to protect? The most common riding inj um, spinal injury is between the shoulder blades and the lower back and 45% rib fractures. What she was saying, because our vest opened just the same way as this in 2008, you're putting a hinge, a weak spot, on the most vulnerable area uh, of the rider's spine. Right, now I'm going to show you our one. A lot, lot faster. Look, it's got a bleed valve. So the one you saw on the video, I'm going to talk quickly because it's going down. There's a foam pad behind it. There's the air bag behind the trigger. It's pushing away. Look how it wraps around the rider's neck. But look. A difference. One solid airbag from the top of the neck all the way down. There is no uh, brakes in this airbag. It's designed to support the trunk of your spine without having a hinge there. Look how wide the pelvis is here. Look how low this comes down to ours. It's it's a psychological thing because it has a coccyx bag. You think it's going to come down further. 
Look how big ours is. But this is going down already. An airbag is very similar to a car airbag. In a riding accident, it only helps you for that split second. Once a horse is going to fall on you, it's done its job. It has absorbed the concussion. Then when you're inside that bubble, you've got to take the weight of, of, of that horse. The airbag isn't doing anything after them. But we've studied so many falls, a fall is over in less than half a second. It's done its job. An airbag is not protecting you after that. The reason why we put the bleed valve in there, there's a lot of pressure. There's twice as much pressure in our vest than it is the hit air vest. Imagine a soft balloon. If you've got a soft balloon, you're going to go all the way through it. We want that airbag to be strong and absorb that pressure. You know, you've got half a ton of horse coming down on you, it's got to absorb that pressure. If you're unconscious, we don't want that pressure on you all the time, and that's why after 10 seconds it's going down. There's nothing in there then. So in the video that you saw, they go, oh, well look at the net protection in ours. Well, it was empty. Um, the people that made that video, they're in fact friends of the rep of Hit Air. So, I just want to put those facts straight. Look, if you have one of these, in my opinion, it's not safe. It, anyone can see what that airbag is doing. If your kid is riding in one of these and you want to ret ret protect both sides of their rib cage and you really want to hit air, go back to them, see if they trade their old one in and get a new one. Um, we, if you've got this model, as I said, we'll give you 50% off any of our vests because I want them off the market. Yeah. So in summary, what I've gone over is the uh, why we put so much protection behind the trigger, the foam, the level one foam, the airbag, why the bleed valve is in there, you can feel this going down, um, why we have one solid airbag from the top to the bottom, and we do not have a break in the airbag. To be fair to you, this one's going down now because we've just uh, uh, it, we inflated this a bit ago, but you can see where the, uh, the gap is. You decide what you think is the safest vest.